Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we got? What do we have for a message today? Well, we got a couple that just flopped. It's a pretty darn good message, too. It is. It really is. Looks like there's a split. There's a separation. Okay, we got the judgment card. That's a wake-up call. It's an awakening, an epiphany. It's a release. Judgment is a card of release. Okay, absolution. The end of things. The card of forgiveness. Something being revealed. A truth is being revealed about a partnership, about a, about a, a union. A union that is probably dysfunctional. You know, we get the two of cups, there's disharmony, there's a disconnection, there's an imbalance. It could be the end of a partnership, okay? That's the end. It is. Judgment is a completion. It is. It's a breakup right here with the two of cups reversed. That is a breakup. It's a wake-up call. It's it's like uh, it's a life-changing decision. Oh, oh! I just noticed we got something beneath the two of cups. Oh, okay. So moving away. Somebody's moving. Somebody's moving away. Somebody is moving away. They have made the decision. This is a life-changing decision. It is. This is the end. I'm out of here. There's no compatibility. There's disharmony. There's a disconnection. So there's a split. Somebody, and this is, you know, typically in the Six of Swords, there's more than one person in the boat. Not in this deck. Somebody has gone through an awakening. They've gone through a spiritual awakening. There's also, you know, when you get the judgment card, there could be somebody from the other side, somebody that has passed away, okay, somebody from the other side that is guiding somebody out of a situation where there's no harmony, there's a, there's no compatibility. There's definitely a separation here, there is. Right? I mean, there is. That is a separation. Somebody has made the final decision. I think they've been headed towards a split anyway. It's been headed in that direction. This is its time. Making the judgment call. Making the decision. This trial is over, right? If you think about judgment, the trial is over. We've tried it. We've done everything. We got all the information. We got all the facts. Six of Swords, it's time to go. This is too troublesome. It's time to go to that better place. Moving on. Woo! Oh my God. So we got. We definitely have some karma here. This is, somebody's been in a karmic contract. They have. Somebody has been in a karmic contract. This karmic contract is coming to a to an end. Now the judgment is also about being held accountable. Being held accountable for your actions. Assigning a judgment, you know, maybe even a penalty. Could be some there's some karma here. <laughs> I mean, we got four cards and these both are karma. So we definitely got some karma here. Um this is this is something not turning out 
in somebody's favor. There's been an injustice. Somebody's not going to be happy with the outcome. There's an there's been an argument with no resolution in sight. It's like these two people. There's a definitely an imbalance. There's a lack of balance. These people they just don't see eye to eye. So there's definitely been a disconnection. Probably things have been getting worse. Lack of accountability. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. But now they're about to be held accountable because this is being held accountable, the truth coming out. Somebody has been lying about their feelings or something like that. They've been lying. This isn't lies. But now here comes the truth. The truth is coming out. Something is going to happen. You know, are you ready to be judged? Somebody is going to be judged based on some sort of truth. Somebody has been lying. This contract is, they're moving out. Somebody is moving out of a contract that is <laughs> not harmonious. Put it that way. There's no harmony here. None. Complete disconnection. Very troublesome. Very rocky. Decision. Guys, this is the final decision. There could be a legal loss. There could something ha could have happened in uh, a legal situation. You know, there was a legal situation, and there's been a legal loss, and and all it's caused is fighting. This is definitely some sort of arguing going on. There is, or mitigation, or debate, or something like that. There's definitely something going on. It's been very troublesome. It's just like, I can't do this anymore. I just want this to be over with. So it is going to be over with. It is going to come to an end. Absolutely. This disconnection, this, this false contract is coming to an end. It is. There's been a lot of lies. Somebody was, was, was uh, hiding behind a mask. Blaming the other person for everything. Not wanting to be held accountable for their actions. May have been going places, you know, during the day and hiding things, you know. It's like going places during the day and, and hiding it. Hiding it very well. Lying about their whereabouts or something like that. Ooh, there's higher power involved here. We we have the hair font, which is a, high, a higher power. Somebody's gut, somebody's intuition is telling them that something is wrong, something isn't right. And it's actually a higher power that is giving somebody these messages. Uh, uh, there could be a confession. Somebody may actually confess. Somebody has been in a false contract, a commitment, a karmic commitment, maybe a marriage. There could be a, a marriage or an engagement or something. There's definitely a split here. <laughs> okay, there is. This isn't compatible. So there is definitely a higher power that is guiding somebody. It's guiding uh, somebody in a new direction. There's no doubt about it out of this um, troublesome situation. So somebody is being guided out. They are definitely being guided out. And their gut has been leading the way because this higher power has been giving them the messages, right? Um, now the, the Hierophant could be a mentor. It could be a teacher. It could be a spiritual guide. It could be God. Uh, whoever it is, this, this person... Or entity or energy is uh, giving somebody the information that they need. Telling them to listen. Are you listening? Now, there, like I said, there could definitely be a confession. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They've been going someplace. So they've been watching or something like that. Um, tower well you can't avoid it this has been a false connection a false sense of security from the get-go 
You, you can't, you know, when you build something up on false pretenses, it doesn't last. Somebody's been trying to avoid the chaos. They've been trying to avoid the upheaval by leaving the connection. But it's, it's to the point where there's going to be a fight. Something is, there's going to be a fight. There's as extremes as there's going to be a permanent loss. This is painful. Something is going to happen. It's going to, it's going to happen very fast. And it cannot be avoided. There's a higher power involved. Something is crumbling and it is, it is a partnership. Okay, a partnership is it's going to crumble very, very fast. Cannot be avoided. It cannot. It's false. And the higher power sees that it's false, sees that it's not stable. Somebody's losing their security or they're losing their stability and they're losing it. I think they're losing it fast. It's, it's, it's like you never, you never expected it to end like this. I didn't think it was going it to, it this is like an explosion. Somebody is getting thrown out or they're get or they're they're going to be shocked. They're going to be shocked. Somebody may even have been cheating because you notice that person is naked and they get caught or they just confess. This is extremely unhealthy behavior. A street extremely unhealthy partnership. Somebody has been engaged in something that was extremely unhealthy, extremely unstable. It was an unstable contract. Lying, not telling the truth. The higher power sees all. And remember, we talk about karma a lot. Karma never loses. Karma, karma never loses an address. So we definitely have a partnership that is falling apart and it's falling apart. It's crumbling fast. And this is moving and mo somebody's moving, moving and this is moving as well. They're moving away from somebody that they're just not compatible with. They're not compatible with this person. They may have received, uh, maybe they may, in the hair of font can be a counselor. They may have uh, spoken to a counselor, could have been even a marriage counselor or uh, any kind of counselor. And this counselor is like, if it's false, if it's not real, if you're not, if you don't want to be with this person, then leave. Leave. Somebody may have received that message. I mean, I'm giving it to you now. If you're not compatible, if you're not in love, if it's a false contract, you need to leave. You're going to keep getting bad luck. You're going to keep getting bad karma. You, this is accept. This is also a card of forgiveness and um, being held accountable, taking accountability. So somebody may be confessing and taking accountability. It's like, I got to be accountable. I got to take accountability. There's definitely something, somebody that is uh, making a decision to move on from a partnership that just is false. It is not compatible. There, it's, there's too much chaos. There's too much... Uh, fighting it's fighting it is it's fighting it's it's just it was built on false pretenses from the beginning it was built on a lie this 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 false foundation this false partnership was built on a lie it was built on a lie because somebody was trying to fill a void or something Eight of Swords reverse. An obstacle is being removed. Somebody, a lie. Somebody has been, if you think about it this way, somebody has been trapped. They've been mentally trapped in, in a state of mental turmoil. Staying in a situation that was keeping them trapped. Un, unwilling to break free from it, but they could break free. So they were chained to an unhealthy situation because it was kind of comfortable. It was some, It was safe. It was safe, so somebody was there, but now they're breaking free. They're breaking free from that situation. 
Um, and it's not, a, it's about themselves. I got to do what's right for me. I, I understand because that's what I see here with this five swords, five of swords at this point. It's like, I got to do what's right for me. I'm sorry that you're hurt. I made the wrong decision. I got to be honest with myself. So I feel like there's a couple casualties here. Unfortunately, there is a couple casualties. There are a couple people that are getting hurt in this process. Somebody was refusing to honor their own truth. They were probably trying to prove a point. Maybe they were trying to prove a point to themselves or to their to their ex or to somebody else. They were trying to prove a point. Um, so now a couple people have been hurt. But there is another opportunity that is being presented that is in view that is easy to see. This is This is a new opportunity. So I feel like we have somebody here that has decided, you know, they got to do the right thing from themselves. They got to break free from this situation that really doesn't serve them. It was safe, but it wasn't making them happy. You know, it wasn't. It was a lot of loneliness there. Um, it was kept them thinking constantly about the past, thinking about uh everything. So this person has been overwhelmed with fear, overwhelmed with the whole situation for quite some time. But I, this is the obstacle being removed, the obstacle of fear and deciding to step outside of their comfort zone. Somebody is deciding to step outside of their comfort zone and do what's right for them. And, and, and you know, it's not about you at this point. It's about me. I got to do what's right for me. I can't, I can't stay in this situation just because it's safe. So I feel like somebody sees another opportunity. It's huge. This is a huge golden opportunity uh, to grab onto. It's like this opportunity is, is too good. It's too good. I got to take it. So I feel like that's what we got here. Somebody sees another opportunity that is bigger, that is brighter, that can grow into something more solid, more stable. And the only way they're going to get it is to honor their own truth. And if it means hurting somebody else, then that's what they got to do. Because if you can't honor your own truth, then it's really not fair to anybody involved. So I feel like we have uh, a person that has made a decision to do what's right for them and break free from a situation that they have chosen to be trapped in because perhaps they didn't want to hurt anybody or um, it was safe, but now they're ready to be judged. They're ready to be held accountable for their own truth. It's like, I got to honor my own truth. So I got to go. I'm sorry that I hurt you because this is like a sorry, but this isn't what is real to me. I got to do what I got to do. I got to do the real thing. This is real. This is real. I got to do what's real. I got to, got to be practical. I got to be real. So I think that we have somebody here that is moving out of a false contract um, because they get this bigger, better opportunity that is something you can take to the bank. You know, this is something you can put in the bank. This is something you can take to the bank. This is something practical and real and can lead to something long term. So I feel uh, maybe it's a long term commitment with somebody that they are compatible with. Um, anyhow, I feel like what we have coming up is uh, a final decision. Because that is the first card that came out, right? A final decision. This is the end of things. This is a life-changing decision based on the facts, based on the truth. Ready to be judged. I'm ready to be judged. I'm ready to tell the truth. I'm ready to break free from this mental conflict. I'm ready to step out of my safety zone. I'm ready. That's what this is. I'm ready. I'm ready to be held accountable for my actions. I'm ready. This is, could be ready for forgiveness. Somebody could be even asking for forgiveness. This is a card of forgiveness. Anyhow, I'm ready. And this is ready to step outside of my comfort zone. You know, even if somebody gets hurt, and that's sad, it is, but I got to do what's right for me. So I feel like there is going to be a couple people that are hurt. There are a couple people are going to be hurt that this person has decided to move on. It is what it is. There's always going to be somebody who's not happy. But there's a golden opportunity here. And it's better to have something real and solid and stable and secure and real than something that is not compatible. Somebody has been living a lie and they're leaving it. They're leaving it behind. It's like, I got to go. I can't live this lie. And maybe they get this epiphany because this is an epiphany because of some karma. Okay, this is karma. This is this is bad karma. They could have experienced some bad karma. Maybe their life is crumbling. And, and like I said, karma never loses an address. There's definitely a higher power involved.
So I do believe that there is a new opportunity that is coming in. This is a golden opportunity for you to step outside of your comfort zone and grab onto it. Grab onto it. But you got to let go of the false commitment. It is a false sense of security, a false foundation. Whatever. It's a lie. You gotta let go of the lie. You gotta let go of the partnership that isn't based on truth to grab onto this golden opportunity that you can take to the bank. Yeah. Somebody may get hurt, but you gotta do what's right for you. Because if you don't take care of you, nobody else is going to. Somebody's leaving, okay? They made the decision to do so. Whoever they are dealing with probably never saw it coming because of the tower reverse. That is something you never saw coming. I think that there's going to be a confession. Somebody is going to confess that this was this isn't what I want. I'm sorry. Somebody's moving. Good luck. 